Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Last time we uh, made it back here to Threed, and Jeff joined our team. We also obtained a jar of fly honey from uh, defeating a giant tent that was going to attack us. So now we need to figure out how we're going to deal with the zombies in this town, but I don't know how we're going to do this. Maybe just a good stroll around town will help us uh, clear our minds and uh, clear our thoughts, you know? Huh? Is my dad calling me again? Oh, no, it's the Apple Kid. Oh, okay, great. Zombie, oh, it can be used to trap zombies. Well, how convenient. We just happen to need that right now. Okay, of a tent. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. We probably could. Okay, great. So we'll get a... <laughs> so he's never seen his on me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And now we're going to get it to, uh, delivered to us by a pizza man. Man, this just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? Well, I guess this must be uh, what the pizza man looks like. He looks very Italian with a big mustache eh? and a nice top hat. Uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, so we're going to get... <laughs> what the crap is this? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, and he just gave it to some guy who he hopes is Ness. Uh, yeah, I love this game, BCS Universe. This game is just freaking hilarious. Okay. No, well, everyone seems to be dashing into the tent. Uh, sure, no problem. Ah, yes, the zombie paper. Yeah, well, we're going to try that here. And let's put down the zombie paper. Great. Yeah, see, they're ready for him now. Uh, see, they're, they're already... <laughs> they're all ready to trap those zombies. So now what we need to do is it's going to happen tomorrow morning. So we need to go stay at the hotel. So we'll go do that. And... The hotel's getting a little more expensive. Oh, good to hear that the hotel music is back to normal. Uh, let's see. So we're going to want to withdraw and get 50 bucks. I, I like the ATM system in Earthbound. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah, see, it's getting pretty pricey. Uh-oh. Ooh, the zombies are getting attracted by that paper. Ooh, look at them all. They're smelling it. Look at him. Ooh, even the zombies that are guarding that entrance. Uh-oh. Uh they're all attacking the tent. Ooh, and they're a little zombie dog, too. I didn't realize the zombies had pets. But, okay, fair enough. Okay, what do they say? The zombie heralds. <laughs> yeah, see, the we took down the, uh, the tent there. Yep. Sure did, but we're back and ready to roll. Okay. I did sleep well, even though the zombies uh, were terrorizing the town. I did sleep well. Thank you. Okay, well, let's go see if this flypaper actually worked. I mean, uh, zombie paper actually worked. Poor zombies, what? All right, we got all of them, it looks like. Uh, yeah. Let's take a look. Whoa! Look at that! They're all stuck to the ground like that! <laughs> yeah, some of them... Uh-huh. Yep, sure am. But they can't attack me, so... <laughs> That's awesome. Uh... I see, it's funny. Man, see, this would be a perfect time to, uh... Attack the zombies right here. You know, you get a lot of, uh... First round... Ah, see. Be a, you definitely get a lot of first round uh, attacks. So, anyways, we've successfully saved the town from the zombies. Yay. Yes. Yeah, well, we already heard about that. So, But we know how to deal with that. So, okay. Let's head up here. And now we're going to head into the graveyard one more time. See if we can uh, 
now take that secret path. That, yeah, see, it's being a... Uh, It looks like we're gonna have to take on the no good fly. And uh, yeah, let's use this insecticide spray so I can show you how that works. Or we'll just kill that fly in one shot like that, no problem. And get some experience there. Excellent. And yeah, now the path is cleared. Okay, so let's uh, check out this area here. It looks a lot like the uh, dungeon I was trapped in earlier. So let's see what surprises await us in this area as we proceed deeper into the zombie lair. Oh man, lots of enemies here. And we got a couple new enemies here, the urban zombie and the zombie dog. Now we want to take these things out pretty quickly because they can actually do a lot of damage. So I want to take out that zombie dog first because it can, it can take almost, yeah look at that, 45 damage. And Jeff's only got like, uh, you know, not a lot of HP, so Come on. Go get him. Whew. Jeez. Holy cow. I think kick most things kicked my ass. And we got a lot of amount, we get a good amount of experience, so we'll actually gain a good amount of levels here. Ooh, HP went up by 12. Nice. Ah, good. And he's definitely gonna need that HP boost. Okay, so let's uh definitely use him healing up after that one. And he'll Paul there. Alright. Good, we were able to get the jump on him. And another level for Jeff there, and uh, we also caught a cold with Ness there, so let's uh, get over our cold there. All right, and we gained those. I uh, got another level for Jeff. Ta-da! Oh, we get a skip sandwich DX, so that's nice. And uh, they got a, we got a hamburger from defeating that, from that last battle, so very good. Okay, let's keep on moving here, continuing through the passages. Yeah, don't be afraid to use Paula's magic here. Uh, I'll show you another way to deal with these zombie dogs, and that might be to deal, uh, to do... Oh, jeez! Yeah, to deal with them real quick. Ugh, jeez, these things are killing me. Okay, well, let's, uh... Yeah, we want to we get Jeff back to life. Who's got the cup of life noodles? Yeah, he does. I, can't, I hate having to use this so early, but... Yeah, anything you need to do uh, to keep him up and not run running there, so... Whew. Yeah, we'll, we'll have enough a cup of life noodles to help us get through the rest of the game, so we'll be alright. Wow, I think kicked my ass. And another level for Jeff. Ah, there we go. IQ going up by three. That's exactly what I want. And another casket. It's kind of a creepy area. Ta-da! Ooh, a silver bracelet. And we're going to want to give that to... Well, let's see. Whose defense is worse? 38... Yeah, they're about the same. Um, yeah, we'll give it to... We'll give it to Paula, just because I think she has less HP. Does she have less HP? Yeah, she has less HP, and since their defense is close enough, we'll give that to Paula there. Uh, let's see. Give to Paula... Now let's see how that increases her attack power. And by her, her defense by five. That's not too bad. All right, well, let's keep on moving. And we'll go up here. And we got some new enemies here, the zombie possessor and another urban zombie. Yeah, let's take them all out using the power of the BCS universe. Take them out, and yeah, not a whole lot you can do. So let's just take out those zombie possessors. Now you want to take those things out first, because um, they can actually... Ooh, that didn't work so well at all. Um, they can actually cause a little mini ghost to follow you around. Uh, let's see, let's use PSI Freeze on that urban zombie. Take him out. Ow. Hopefully this will take him out. No, nope, that didn't really work so well at all. Boom! Yeah, there you go. Yes! Good, good, good. And what do we get? Oh, a secret herb. Not quite sure what that does, but we'll have to find out here in a minute. Okay, let me take a second before uh, heading up these stairs here. Okay, so let's see what this secret herb does. Oh, 
Well, that's very cool. So it's, uh... Okay, so it pretty much can do everything. Um, diamond eyes? Hmm, I wonder what that is. Uh, okay, let's see. Yeah, we'll be good, so let's see what's up with this thing. Uh-huh. What? And now it's time for a boss battle against Mini Barf? Ew. Okay, uh, fair enough. Well, let's, uh, just start going to town on this thing. And we'll use, uh, did I have a bottle rocket? No, I, oh, I got rid of it. Okay, no problem. And attack there. Ew. Okay, no problem there. So let's use the power of the BCS universe. And attack. Whew. Yeah, this thing's actually not that hard. Boom! Yeah. But uh, the only thing that's kind of annoying is that you st you can st that it can make you uh, cry a lot. So our physical attacks aren't going to do a whole lot of damage. Ow! All right, now I think Jeff has a croissant that he can eat. Yeah, so let's uh, do that. There we go. Yeah. So the and don't worry about healing um, the crying attack because. Um, you know, he'll just keep doing it over and over again. Uh, if you also want, you could go, you could buy some bottle rockets. Ow. Uh, you know, to kind of help the battle out, if you wanted to have done that, but, eh, I don't think it's really necessary, because this, this thing's not that hard. There we go. Oh, my, my thing went down. Uh, let's use the PSI Caramel, so I can get some offense going. Ow. Oh, 20 PP, good. Uh, let's see, and now, yeah, power the BCS Universe. And, yeah, you can eat the hamburger there, Paula. Excellent. Boom! Yeah, got him! Piece of cake. Ooh, 2,500 experience and another level for Jeff. I know you did. Master Belch. Who the heck is Master Belch? Sounds like a creepy name. And now we are in this area. What awaits us in this next area? What's that weird old man doing here? You're going to have to wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.